Okay, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Now, this says details emerge on the global bank heist by hackers. Okay, so there was a global bank heist by hackers, and we now know the details. Now, now, in this report, I guess it's going to show us, tell us the details. Now, remember, let's go back to February because February wasn't there. Didn't the Swift get hacked? Um, by a group of people and um, and it was like 81 million dollars stolen from some bank or some central bank or something like that right and then all of a sudden in April late April we get it I think it was April 26 the Swift has another uh, hack by malware okay and um, so they started to think maybe it's coming from the inside maybe somebody inside is selling them selling out to to some to some country or some uh, uh, group and is giving them the information for them to be able to hack inside of our systems because our systems are very very uh, uh, protected so it has to be coming from somebody from within the system that knows the system to be and and is getting maybe a million two million dollars uh, to give the information for hackers to be able to come in and put malware and things of that nature in it. Okay. Or the guy that's inside the system is actually doing it himself. And he's the one that's doing it for a different group or to, or for some type of purpose. Okay. So this was what's going, been going on. And I'm not sure because that second, um, attack from, by the, from, you know, the, from the hackers to the swift and they were trying to put the malware in there. We don't know how much, um, money was stolen we don't know the damage of that second one and i'm i'm not sure if this is the article or not that's going to explain that uh, maybe it is so let's read and see what if it is or not okay so it says the central bank of the philippines foiled attempts to hack its website okay so there was some type of hackers that were trying to get into the central bank of the philippines okay but they were able to stop it um its governor said on thursday after a warning from the global financial network swift about hackers targeting its system okay so this is an ongoing thing now this is coming up more and more regular now okay um it's it, it's gonna be almost as regular as men going into the women's bathroom and and uh doing bad things to little girls okay i mean we're starting to hear stories about that almost on a daily basis now after obama and uh has blackmailed uh public school systems to enforce that for little boys not they don't have to be transgender they just say I i'm going into the girl's bathroom so obama said that little boys don't have to even tell you what they are they just can they can go to the girl's bathroom at any time okay so we're gonna see a lot of cases uh, a lot of rape cases a lot of uh, sexual assault cases go come up in america and also in the public bathrooms as well we're gonna see a lot of men going into girls bathrooms uh and they're not transgender or gay or anything like they're just going into the girls bathrooms to to look at girls and to you know sexual assault girls or rape girls or kidnap girls okay so we're gonna see that go skyrocket okay it's gonna be an everyday thing so same thing here same thing here with the um cyber attacks okay um as you guys know china has a group of uh, people man all they do is cyber attacks you know they got companies in china because it's a communist country where they go to work to, to 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 hack people's accounts okay that's their job to go in and hack central banks hack banking companies all this stuff and no one can put them to jail because no one can get in the chi no one can really get into china and 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 put these people in jail because it's a communist country you know what i mean so and I know like a lot of you guys, uh, some of you guys that, that have been to China know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know, where do you start? You know, where where can you find these groups? Where do you find these people? And how do you put take them to trial? Uh, it, it is very hard when you're dealing with a communist country. Um, and, if, and if, you know, they find that that's what you're trying to do. You won't even survive a day. I mean, they will cut your neck off. Your, they will cut you to limbs and, and feed you to... To, to the cats and dogs and, and, and things of that nature. So it's very, very hard to 
stop the cyber attacks and the cyber m m malware and all the other things that are coming. Now, you already guys already know I deal with that because I'm, I'm waiting on my new computer to come in. Uh, the same day they, they attacked my computer, uh, Frank's computer was attacked as well on the same day. You know what I mean? Frank 26. Uh, and he was on live on television. You know, his wife was using the computer. I guess they were on their website and somebody attacked their website. So, I mean, this thing is this common. It's going to be common. It's becoming common. And it is what it is. Um, we just got to deal with it, man. You know, put put the best protection uh, you can on your computer. And, and, and then after that, <laughs> you, you, that's all you can do. You know what I mean? Um Okay, so it says here that uh, uh, just how secure, securely are banks moving money around the world? Uh, new details emerge on Friday about a pair of related attacks on banks that use the SWIFT message service, which allows financial firms and companies to transfer payments around the world. Now, here's something interesting. This could be happening on purpose uh, or, or, or for some type of uh, agenda so that people can come off the swift system okay so it could be people paying off people that are employees of the swift to do this so so people can finally um convince the world so russia the BRICS countries can finally um tell the world look the swift is unsafe we need to move to something else because remember all swift transactions are done in u.s dollars and the u.s the u.s uh um is a uh, you know, it's over every transaction in the SWIFT. Okay, so every transaction in the SWIFT is approved by the USA, and it's also every transaction in the SWIFT is done in U.S. dollars. So if you don't, if people, if people are hate the U.S. dollar or hate America, they're going to start to pay people that work in the SWIFT and say, "Look, we want a new system. We, don't, you know, here's three million dollars. Give us access to the SWIFT so we can put malware in it, so we can make the world believe." That the SWIFT is no longer good because it, it, it's not protected properly. And so we can use a new system. So that's what they really want. They want to use a new system around the world. So that's why they're attacking the SWIFT. Um, so they can convince the rest of the world to say, look, the SWIFT is no longer safe. Let's move to something that's safe. Okay. So that's what could be happening as well. And I think we're going to see a lot more attacks on the Swiss because they want to convince the world that the SWIFT is not safe because they do transactions in U.S. dollar. Now, I'll tell you what, if the SWIFT did transactions, all transactions in Chinese one, I guarantee there won't be no attacks right now. <laughs> but because it's in U.S. dollars and the whole world is trying to take down the U.S. dollar and, and the America, this is what's happening now. Okay. It's time to now attack the SWIFT. Okay, um, because they want to, they want something new. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys understand that. Okay, so it's company security uh, researchers uh, breathed on the investigation into one of the attacks on the Bangladesh Bank raised several theories about the crime, including the possibility that groups from Pakistan and North Korea may have been spying on the bank. Other analysis in investigating the attack said that there were striking similarities between the multiple uh, bespoke uh, tools used by the hackers in both the banking uh, cases in the attack on Sony Pictures in 2014. Now, remember that attack on Sony Pictures um, revealed how, how um, excuse me, revealed how racist Sony Pictures was. <clears throat> And people were shocked. I don't know why you were. I don't know why anybody was shocked to see the 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 emails and things from Sony Pictures talking about artists that actually they hired to to do movies. And I mean, if they were white people, they didn't have really much to say. But if they were black or colored or Mexican or or Puerto Rican or Cuban, they had a lot to say about them. You know what I mean? They're only good for this role. They're they're this and that, and they were. It was just. It was awful. <laughs> Sony's Sony's had to apologize and say they're not racist. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. We 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 know Sony. We know. <laughs> it says the latest breach detailed by Swift in a letter uh, to its users on Friday occurred at a commercial bank that appeared 
um, according to the, uh, a leading online security firm, BAE Systems, on Friday to be located in Vietnam that attack uh, the 81 million heist in the Bangladesh Central Bank account at the Federal Reserve Bank in New York in February. Okay, so there, there, there it was. There was a Bangladesh Central Bank account at the Federal Reserve in New York, okay? Um... Now, some of you guys have your gold in, in New York. Uh, I don't have any gold in New York, okay? Um, not yet, uh, but, you know, so I just want to let you guys know that. So if you guys have a bid gold account, if you guys signed up in the link below where it says free, uh, free gold money account or free gold account, savings account, and you click that link and you and you put your email and password in and then you sign and you fill out the quick form and then you start putting putting money into your account for and you, you know you get your gold right so you got your gold now you got seven different vaults you can pick from um a lot of you guys would say okay i'm an american let me put my gold in new york okay well as you see here they're targeting new york <laughs> okay so uh you can move your gold to any other bank uh, other accounts as well but i'm just saying uh they they are targeting new york like crazy uh, they're targeting <laughs> America. Okay, so I got my goal. I don't have my goal in, in New York. Okay, um, uh, just because they're targeting uh, America a lot. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know that are, that are in big goal. Um, you, I mean, like I said before, it's gold. It's not you know, it's not U.S. dollars or the SWIFT or anything like that. We we deal with brinks with big gold deals with brinks. Okay, and uh, your gold is protected and secured even if you uh, something happens. They do have a backup plan. Okay, through brinks. Okay, so uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um. Just want to let you guys know, but I will have gold in New York. I will have gold in New York, digital gold in New York as well. Okay, I, I'm going to try to have it in actually in all of the uh, seven accounts. Okay, uh, just, just to spread it out uh, in my big goal. Okay, so hopefully you guys do the same, uh, just to diversify, spread it all around. Um, okay, it says here that our thought uh, to be part of the broad assault on the global banking system. Uh, the, by thieves who operating methods and digital fingerprints are being studied carefully by analysts worldwide. Okay, so these these people are very good at what they do. At what they do. Um, remember that movie from with uh, uh with Chris Brown and some other people back in the day called Takers. You know, like you know, uh, and they used to go and take 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 uh steal money from banks and all types of stuff. Yeah, I mean these guys are these guys that are doing these things right here are really good. Okay, they 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 know fingerprints, they know digital fingerprints, they know how to 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 emanate the they know how to get into the system and, and get it done quick and fast. So um, they must have been they must be day and night studying banks and central banks and have maybe lots of footage of lots of things that they do, or they could be just insiders of the banks. Okay, um, says in both attacks on banks, the intruders obtain legitimate credi uh, credentials to sign into the SWIFT network. So there you have it. So they, they, they could be insiders of the SWIFT. They could work for SWIFT, <laughs> uh, you know, because they, they have credentials to get into the SWIFT. Okay, so um, if I was SWIFT, I would bring everybody who has credentials into the SWIFT. And I would ask them, you know, questions, and I would monitor them for the next twelve months. Point. I mean, you, uh, hey, you want to work here or not? You know what I mean. So that's what I would do. I would, hey, I'll, I'll bring everybody in who has high credentials to get into this type of stuff, and I'll say, look, one of y'all did it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, you can either be fired, you can be fired right now, or we we're going we're gonna to monitor you. We're going to monitor you for twelve months. You know what I mean? So, psh, good. You know, I, I bet you several several people will quit. <laughs> they ain't trying to be monitored for twelve straight months, because most likely they'll. If you're monitored for twelve months, you might forget your monitor after the fourth, fifth, sixth months, and you might run into the people that actually did the job with you, and somebody might slip up and say, "Hey, man, the, yeah, hey, man, you still got the, you still got some of that money that that we took." He'd be like, oh, my God, dude, I'm being monitored, man. And, it's, and then they come get you. So just one slip up and um, and you're done. You know what I mean? So 
uh, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty sure that the if they did the Swift did that, many of the people would will would would quit. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think that's it, man. They, they're they trying to get into the Swift, trying to make it Swift look weak so they can use another system. Um, and I guess some of this was some of the details from the last attack. And also they were referring back to the attack in uh, February. Okay, so that's it for me. Most likely it's somebody from the inside of Swift. They, they need to deal with that internally uh, and get it done. Okay, so that's it for me. Eyes open.